Hi you guys. So I said I would come to you with um, a little yoga practice, um, just as a little mindful workout, um, cause I can't be in the yoga studio or at Orange Theory. So I thought I'd give you a little, um, little something you can do at home. Now feel free to follow any of it or, um, you know, maybe there's certain parts that align with you better. Um, the other day we did a more of a breathing exercise. Um, so I want to bring that back here at the end today. Um, so if you do just need the breathing, I'll cut that portion off too and have it just ready for you. Um, so if you have a yoga mat, awesome. If you don't, just grab a towel, um, just something to have under you. You might find that being barefoot um, is helpful, helps you grip a little more. Um, also, if you have a yoga block or maybe even just a pillow, it's helpful, especially as we get started here. Um, coming into your breath. So it's usually pretty helpful to prop you up on a seat. Um, just a lot of us have really tight hips, so it allows you to open up your hips more um, and to sit up a little taller. So you're not slouching forward. Um, you're able to sit up tall and push your shoulders back. Now, if it's too much for you to have your knees forward, um, always a great option to come to your knees and take a seat on the block, more of a hero's pose. So finding whatever is um, comfortable for you to get started and then close your eyes. You can rest your palms right on your knees. And soften your jaw. And take a full exhale breath out. Just clearing the slate and getting you ready to be more mindful. Take a breath in through your nose and as you breathe in, feel your belly fill up with air. And exhale through your mouth, pull your belly in towards your spine, completely letting go of the air you filled up with. Inhale, fill up. Open mouth, exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. And continue with this breath knowing that uh, your breath might feel a little shorter, um, a little more shallow, and that's okay. A lot of times when we first start practicing with breath, it, it's pretty challenging, um, so it does take practice. So keep using your breath um, a couple rounds here, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just letting you ground into this moment, into this place, letting go of whatever distractions may be happening around you. Um, maybe you have animals or kids or a spouse that's home and maybe they wanna join you with this, so always invite them. Take two more rounds of breath, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. And then if you're propped up on a pillow or a block, um, take that away and come forward uh, to your knees and to a tabletop. Your shoulders should be stacked over your wrists and your hips should be stacked over your knees. You can press down through the tops of your shins and take a breath in. And as you breathe in, lift your chest up, cow pose, pull your shoulders back, let your belly fall down. And exhale, cat pose, round through your spine. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, cow pose, soft bend of your elbows. Fingers are spread wide, good foundation to the floor. And exhale, cat pose, round through your spine. Tuck your chin into your chest. Really big cat back here. Inhale, cow pose, send your gaze up. Exhale, cat pose, round through your spine. And inhale, tabletop, find a neutral spine and pull your belly button up and in. Reach your hands across your mat to the right side and press your hips to the left. Really lengthen through your left fingertips, feeling a stretch for your left side body. You can take this into more of a restorative posture, letting your forehead come down to the mat and taking extra time here to breathe. And walk your hands to the other side reaching over to uh, the left side, hips come to the right. Stretch your right fingertips long, breathe in. Breathe out. 
and come back to tabletop. Reach your right fingertips out long in front of you. And as you do that, pull your belly button in, really good spine balancing. You can send your left leg back, press through your heels, opposite hand, opposite foot, allowing you to find some stability and strength, um, especially in a moment that seems a little chaotic, right? A lot of us have different circumstances. So allowing your strength, your balance to come together right here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out, release back to your tabletop. We'll do the opposite side. Left hand reaches forward, thumbs point up towards the ceiling, press your right foot back. Now, if you feel a little wobbly in this, that's completely normal as you're gathering um, strength in the muscles that maybe you don't often use. So use your breath to stay calm. Use your breath to stay strong. Reach out, extend through your heel, breathe in. Breathe out. And then release your left hand down, right knee down. And curl your toes under. Make sure your hands are shoulder distance width apart. Send your hips up for a downward facing dog. Now a downward facing dog should be like an upside down V. You can add a soft bend to your knees. Hamstrings are getting warmed up. You can pedal out your legs left and right. Just finding warmth for the back line. Now a good way to know if you're in a good position your down dog is to come forward to a plank. Your hands should be below your shoulders and then press through your heels, finding a nice straight line from your heels through the crown of your head. From there, hands and feet stay in the same spot. Push yourself back to a downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a full breath out. Look to your hands and step forward. You can take multiple steps to get there or a big step to get there. Feet are behind your hands and grab opposite elbow for ragdoll pose. Bend your knees as much as you need. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Finding warmth to the back line of your body. And then bring the opposite hand out front. And gently sway your body side to side, left and right. And release your hands down. Bring your feet together to touch. It might feel better in your body to keep your feet more hip distance. Um, and if that's the case, do that. And slowly roll all the way up, feeling your strength. Press through your heels, lift through your knees. Stack each vertebra as you rise. At the top, you can do some shoulder rolls. Shoulders roll to your ears and down your back. We'll move through a sun salutation A. Really great. Um, warm up for your body, whether you're taking 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour to do yoga, or you're just waking up and need a little movement, even maybe before lunch or before dinner, great options to do. So Sun A begins with Mountain Pose. Inhale, my, uh, arms rise up over your head. Use your breath to lengthen out. Stay strong. Reach fingers towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, option to take a little back bend here. Lift out of your low back. Make sure you're not shifting forward to your toes, but you're keeping the weight in your heels, opening up through your heart, through your chest. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up, strengthen, reach taller, shoulders out of ears. And exhale, forward fold, hinge forward from your waist, keep your belly drawn in. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your shins. Make sure you have a flat back. I'll turn to the side so you can see. A lot of times people round, pull your shoulders back, keep your belly tucked in tight, and take a breath in. And exhale, high to low plank. Plant your palms to the ground. Lower down halfway, elbows come into your sides. Another great option is to lower to your knees. You can do the same thing, building strength. Then inhale, upward facing dog. Knees are lifted, thighs are lifted. And exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up high. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, look forward to your hands. Exhale, step your feet together. You can take multiple steps or just one giant step up. Inhale, halfway lift again. Flat back, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold, let your spine release. Inhale, mountain pose. Rise up, arms over your head. Exhale, little baby back bend open through your heart. Lift out of your low back. Inhale, mountain pose. Rise up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your waist. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, connect your hands to your shins or thighs. 
Exhale, high to low plank, plant your palms, step back, lower down, elbows squeeze in, inhale, upward facing dog, thighs are lifted, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, and a breath out. One more time, inhale, look forward, exhale, step to the top, feet are together, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, slow, lower down. You can go as slow as or fast as you want, inhale, mountain pose, your practice, exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Plank your palms, step back, lower down. Option for your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. And inhale, reach your right toes up high, three-legged dog. You can pause here and take some little shoulder circles with your ankles, really pressing your shoulders and chest back. Soft bend to your elbows. You can straighten your leg, kind of warming up the hip, little circles. And then reach your right leg high. And exhale, low lunge. Step through. Plant your foot right between your hands. Make sure there's good alignment. Your knee is right above your ankle or heel. From here, Press down into your left hand. This is where a pillow or block could come in again. If you need to lift your hand a little higher, and reach your right arm high. Get a nice little twist in. Option to take some wrist circles. You can also take some big shoulder circles. Really good for relieving some tightness in your shoulders. Inhale, reach high. And exhale, find your low lunge. We're gonna move into a crescent moon. So release your left knee down and reach your arms up. Really good for your left hip flexor, right knee reaches forward. You can even do a little baby back bend, lifting your chest, pressing your hips forward. Option to release your hands to your knee, doing what feels good for you. And breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Release your hands back to the mat, straighten your right leg. You can press your hips back and flex your right toes getting into your hamstring. Option to come all the way down to a seat if that's available in your body, keeping your chest up and lengthening through your spine. Breathe in, breathe out. You might find you're getting um, a little warm, you're feeling warmth because your breath is helping you build heat internally. Breathe in, breathe out. And come forward to your lunge and remove your block out of the way. Curl your back toes under, lift your back knee up, and inhale, crescent lunge, rise up, squeezing your inner thighs to help you balance. Relax your shoulders down. Sink a little lower as you continue to breathe. Try to take the bend out of your back knee. Keep the bend in your front knee and breathe in. And exhale, warrior two, finding a heel to arch alignment. If you look down to your feet, it's okay to look down to see your alignment. Make sure your back toes are slightly forward. Arms are strong, pressing out actively, and your front knee is pushing towards your pinky toe. Now keep your legs low. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your right arm high. Lengthen through your side bodies, both of them not crunching into your backside. Inhale. And exhale, low lunge. Plant your hands. Step your foot back into a high plank. Lower down on your exhale. Elbows come in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your left toes high. Same thing, we'll bend the knee. Take a little warm up for your hip. Straighten, bend, take circles. And inhale, reach high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot through between your hands. Make sure your knee is right above your heel. From there, you can take the block or keep your hand on the ground, whatever is available for you. And reach your left arm high. Find an easy twist. Roll out your wrist. And take big shoulder circles to the back or to the front. Inhale, reach high. And exhale, low lunge. Move the block out of your way. Release your right knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Arms rise up, lengthening through your right hip flexor. Front knee reaches forward, lifting out of your low back. Tiny little back bend here. Breathe. In through the nose and out through the nose if that's available. Otherwise, open mouth exhales are awesome. 
and come forward push your hips back straighten your front leg flex your left toes staying really lengthened through your spine and through the back of your left leg always an option to come all the way down to a seat if that feels okay for your body know that yoga is all about just creating your own personal progress you don't have to go any length that doesn't fit for you whatever whatever posture you're in is perfect as long as it feels good and you're being mindful with your breath and your movement and come forward back to your low lunge ground your hands down curl your back toes under lift your knee up off the ground inhale crescent lunge rise up squeeze your inner thighs for balance now press through your back heel make sure your back leg is strong and straight your right hip should be forward left hip pushing back really lengthen breathe in and exhale warrior two you can see the heel to arch alignment so what i'm talking about is your front heel can draw a line straight to your back arch your back toes are slightly forward shoulders are stacked over your hips you're not reaching forward shoulders stay stacked now keep your legs nice and low inhale reverse warrior keep length in your side bodies and exhale high to low plank find your low lunge first step your left foot back lower down elbows in inhale upward facing dog Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Always an option to just hold your high plank versus flowing through the high to low plank option. Take a breath in and a breath out. We'll go through that again. Inhale, reach your right toes high. Exhale, step through low lunge. Release your left knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Go with your own flow. Go slower if you need to. And exhale, low lunge, push your hips back, half splits. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, low lunge, lift your back knee up. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Exhale, warrior two, moving breath to movement. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm high. And exhale, high to low plank. Option for a plank to down dog. Option for your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your left toes high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot through. Release your back knee down. Inhale, crescent moon rise up. Exhale, little back bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, push back, half splits. Lengthen through a breath in. And through a breath out. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, low lunge, lift your back knee. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. And exhale, warrior two, back heel drops down. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, option for high plank or to your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. We'll go through one more time. Inhale, toes high, right toes. Exhale, low lunge. Release your back knee down. Inhale, crescent moon, rise up. Exhale, little back bend. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half splits. Lengthen through a breath in. Breath out, fold. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Beautiful transitions with your breath. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank. Plant your palms. Step your right foot back. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open your shoulders. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips back. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Right knees down. Exhale, little back bend. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half splits. Lengthen, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent, rise up. Exhale, warrior two, open. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank. Plant your palms, step back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, look forward. 
Exhale, yogi squat, step wide, toes out, heels in. Great opportunity to grab a block here you can sit on, just allowing your hips to open. So a lot of times when we have a lot of things going on in life, hips tend to get really tight. So great opportunity to just open them up and breathe. Check back in, grab water if you need it, um, but check in with yourself, how your breath is, how your heart rate is, um, what's flowing, what's feeling a little tense, um, what in your body feels super tight right now. Um, I'll give you some other options. Um, I'll post some photos of some of my favorite stretches for your hips, for your shoulders. Um, we're gonna go through a little spine strengthening um, and then some breathing. Um, to wrap up this session, keeping it short for your first one, but allowing you to get a little movement in your day, um, especially because um, you're probably doing a lot of sitting now, at least I have been. All right, so release your left hand down and take a little twist up if you're off a block. This works too, just pushing your elbow into your knee. Take a breath in and a breath out. Release right hand down, left arm reaches up. Take a breath in and a breath out. And then fold forward, send your hips high, shake it out left and right, let your hips let go. And then come down to your high plank, push your hips back or your feet back rather, and then lower all the way down to your belly. Hands should be right next, I'll back up so you can see me. Hands should be right next to your chest. Okay, feet are zipped together. You're just gonna lift up through your chest. Now you're not using your hands to lift up, you're just using your spine muscles. So feeling your low back do the work. Press down through the tops of your feet, your knees should lift up. Pull your belly button towards your spine rather than pushing it into the ground, noticing that your back is doing the work. This is your core active, pull your shoulders back. Take a breath in. And exhale, release down, chin first, then look to your left. Relax your hands to your sides. Let your toes come together and your heels fall open. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Always important to come back and check in with your breath. And chin back to center. Zip your legs together and press your hands straight back. Palms are down. Lift everything up, pull your belly button towards your spine, press your hips down. Great two exercises to do for your spine and core strength every day. Pull your shoulders back, really strengthening all those little muscles that go along your spine. Lift up, press through your toes, press through your fingers, breathe in. And exhale, come all the way back down, chin to the ground, look to your right, hands relax, shoulders fall forward, toes together, heels fall open. Use your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, your back rises. Exhale, your back falls. And bring your chin back to center. And press up to your high plank. You can travel to, through tabletop to get there. And push back to your downward facing dog. Reach your right toes high, inhale. And exhale, half pigeon on the right. Bring your right knee to your right wrist, ankle to your left, and stretch your left toes out behind you. You can look to your left toes, make sure they're straight behind you. I think another good way if you have really tight hips to get into this posture is to come in through a low lunge. When you're in your low lunge, you can walk your um, foot to the opposite hand and then bring your right knee down. Now, if both of those are unavailable, it's a great opportunity to lie down on your back and cross your right ankle over your left knee, interlace your hands behind your thigh for a supine version of the stretch. So whatever is here for you, I want you to take it. If you're in um, half pigeon, start to crawl your hands forward, bring your elbows wide, and then relax your forehead down. We'll be here for a few moments, so let your head rest. Focus on your breathing, your strong breath. Come to a place of focus rather than scrambling thoughts or to-do lists. Be present. Be focused on how you uh, can set the tone for your day and for your week. 
when there's a lot of other chaos going on or negativity, how you can bring back um, control, how you can bring a positive light, and how you can uh, make things feel calm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Start to come back to your palms. Push back to your downward facing dog. Taking some movement here. Letting your hip feel space. Feel new energy. Feel new light. Reach your left toes high. Inhale. Exhale, half pigeon on the left. Bring your knee to your left wrist, ankle to your right. Same thing as before. You can take those options, coming to a low lunge, walking your foot over to your right hand, or coming to your back for a supine variation. Make sure you check your back toes and make sure they're straight back. And then walk your hands forward, elbows wide. Bring your forehead down to the ground. Giving yourself a few moments here to come back to check in, just like you did on the other side. Noticing this side might feel different. It's pretty normal. Breathe. Take a breath in and a slow breath out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And come back to your palms and push back to your downward facing dog. Come down to your knees and you can spin your legs around and find a comfortable seat, how we started class, or you can lie down on your back. I suggest lying down on your back as we move into um, our final resting pose. Just allowing yourself to get comfortable, whatever you decide, sitting or lying down. We'll move through um, some box breathing, similar to what we did the other day if you tuned in um, to a, that live viewing um, box breathing is really good to neurologically reset you and to allow you to find some calm. Maybe when you're feeling anxious or if you have a lot on your plate and you need to focus, it brings you back into focus. So box breathing is a four count breath in. Four counts as you hold your breath. Four counts to exhale and four counts to hold again before you start it. So just think of a box in front of you. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, and then keep going around that circle. Um, taking a minute, maybe two minutes or three um, is a great start. We're gonna do it here for about a minute. Um, so in the future when you're doing it on your own, always can set a timer um, on a watch or timer on, on whatever device you might have. It's really helpful to keep you in the moment and not having to distract. All right, so exhale everything out to begin. We'll breathe in for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. One, inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, 
two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, exhale for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, inhale for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, exhale for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one. Now feel free to uh, go into this as long as you need to. We took about a minute just over together. Um, so do it for longer. If you feel like you have the time, if you are starting to feel that more centered awareness, more focus. And allow yourself time to do this throughout the next two weeks or however long um, you might find yourself looking for um, more groundedness, more calming. Come back to this breath. And allow it to be your place to go to recenter, to reground. Um, we're all going through a lot right now, so when you feel anxious, um, you can always tune into this video. Of course, watch it as many times as you need to. Um, you can always reach out and ask questions, um, but really you're, you're your best teacher. You're the one that um, can get yourself to do it, and I'll be here for you to guide you through. Um, so if you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, um, give yourself another moment or two to just be still. To come back to your breath. As we close out together today, I want you to close out with some sort of mantra, something to walk you through your day, something to uh, let you be in control. Because with all the chaos and all the stuff we can't control, you can control how you come into the day. So whether you're just repeating to yourself, I am calm, I am calm. Or maybe it's something like, I got this, you know, something really empowering for you um, taking on, taking on the next two weeks or month or year, whatever, whatever it may take. Just reminding yourself that you're in control and you got this. 